if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you, you guys know that I do many videos about the battery sector here in Australia just absolutely exploding. But it's not just Australia where this is happening. It's also the United States. In fact, more than $100 billion is going to be spent on the battery storage sector in America. This is a huge change that I think people don't realize. It will put out of business many other sectors, and I'm talking about fossil fuel sectors. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans, and you're watching the Electric Viking. The American energy sector will invest $100 billion in battery storage by 2030, but those are projections from today, and those projections will change, especially when the Trump administration is finished. When that's done, and guys, I'm pretty sure it will be, we're going to see probably a, a big increase in investments in this sector. Members of the US energy industry have committed to investing $100 billion over the next five years to build and buy American-made batteries for large utility-scale deployments of battery energy storage systems. I actually think one of the reasons this might increase is because of the upcoming battery factories that are going to be built that will manufacture lithium-ion phosphate batteries. The truth is the United States does make lithium-ion phosphate batteries, but not many of them. You guys actually have some amazingly good, and I've talked about this on the channel, you guys might even have the best LFP technology in the world. And I mentioned the battery company that has that, but they're only making these at a very small scale. When America, when the United States is manufacturing, you know, billions of dollars worth of lithium-ion phosphate batteries, that's when I think energy storage will really skyrocket. This $100 billion will double easily. Lithium-ion phosphate batteries are more suited for energy storage. They get more cycle life. They are more affordable. Just makes more sense for this sector. So at this point in time, most of the batteries being used for energy storage in the United States, nearly well, not nearly all, but most of them, are actually NMC batteries, which isn't perfect. It's not ideal. Executives from the American Clean Power Association, or ACP, and several utility company representatives said within the, well, the last week that they are committed to a five-fold increase in active investments that could, according to the association, lead to 100% American-made energy projects. But that vision depends on a streamlined permitting environment and predictable tax and trade policy. Hmm. Predictable tax and trade policy. That might not be coming anytime soon. The committee says, um, well, this is, a, this is a comment, demonstrate what success can look like, said ACP CEO, adding that many industry players have been waiting in a short of, sort of holding pattern until some long-term clarity develops, clarity develops around Donald Trump's tariffs and trade policies. So this is causing a lot of problems. There's a, really, when there's uncertainty, the sector just freaks out, doesn't know what to do. So those fundamentals are, well, still, even though there's clearly issues around the um, uncertainties around Donald Trump's tariffs, there is still some positives. And that is efficiency, improvement, and reliability. We're seeing more batteries being manufactured in the US. And we're seeing, we're also seeing the results. Energy storage systems have to be proven uh, for basically for other companies to invest. And the truth is we're starting to see that these battery storage facilities are actually better than advertised. So companies would say, you know, you want to build a big battery? Okay, we'll give you a 15-year warranty or a 10-year warranty, often a 10-year warranty, in fact, because we think the batteries are going to last for this long. But as you can see with electric cars, batteries are lasting longer than the manufacturer said that they would. And that means that these projects make more sense in terms of the return on investment. Form Energy CEO Matteo Yaramillo says his company sources more than 80% of its battery content in the United States and much of the rest from Europe and non-China Asia. And while they're working to reshore even more, they remain exposed to heavily tariffed Chinese-made inputs. Form eventually hopes to source raw iron from U.S. mines in Michigan and Minnesota, and they're not alone. Executives from other companies said this. COVID-era disruptions across the global battery supply chain convinced Fluence that 
air that an energy storage market as robust as the United States needed a stronger domestic manufacturing base. And basically what that means is multiple companies are actually investing in the US. Like Fluence, LG Energy Solution Vertec expects to significantly expand its US manufacturing operations in 2025 and 2026. The South Korean battery powerhouse will adapt existing production lines at its Holland, Michigan factory to deliver 16.5 gigawatt hours of stationary storage batteries this year and add 11 gigawatt hours of new capacity in 2026, said the CEO. Now, as I mentioned before, all of those batteries though are NMC batteries. So nickel manganese cobalt batteries, and they are more expensive to produce. And ultimately for energy storage, the increase the slightly increased energy density and the lower weight versus lithium ion phosphate is not really um, necessary. It's not a, it's of no real benefit for energy storage. So once Tesla and Ford and other companies begin manufacturing lithium ion phosphate en masse in the US, I think that's going to really change this outlook. It's already looking very positive, but it's going to this sector will explode. And you can expect really big opportunities in the sector. My, my advice is if you're working right now in the automotive industry, say on a manufacturing line, especially if that's anything to do with internal combustion, this is the sector you want to look at. This is the sector you want to get in. Energy storage and the future of the electricity markets in the US will rapidly change. And it's a massive opportunity for many people to make a lot of money. The ACP's announcement adds about 85 billion to a set of active investments worth 10 billion to 15 billion. So they're saying that right now at this point, 10 to 15 billion is committed, but they expect an additional 85 billion. Battery storage is so logical, guys. It's the most logical, really, thing any grid can do. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Yes, 90% of the world lives on the Sun Belt. So for 90% of the world, solar and battery storage is key is the most important, but ultimately adding battery storage to wind turbines also can work. Adding battery storage is the most affordable thing for many grids to do to fix their grids. And as battery costs continue to fall and we start to see more evidence of the fact that these batteries are lasting longer than what we thought they would, well, we're gonna see an absolute explosion in these markets. It's not just Australia. Australia is looking at a 5,400% 5,400% uh, increase in deployments over the next couple of years. It's absolutely incre incredible. I don't think the US market will grow quite that fast, but it won't be that far off. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.